How's it going guys? This is Ultimate Drifter and before I get started with this video, can you do me a quick favour please, especially my active subscribers can you check out the link in the description and subscribe? It's basically it's my second channel, the one that I've just created that I was telling you about if you watched my previous video but basically on this channel I'll be uploading any content that isn't racing related so anything such as Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Far Cry, like pretty much any game like any game whatsoever apart from racing related content the reason being is because this channel has pretty much been f all racing related so I thought it'd look a bit silly if I just randomly started uploading like other types of content so I thought why not make a second channel and just put it on there so like I said in my other video but yeah that's why I did it that being said what well, please like I say yeah subscribe because it will mean a lot because like, I think I've only got two subscribers or something because it's just been made within like the past two days bear in mind it's got no videos uploaded yet but I'm definitely going to start uploading some soon but it's just nice to know I have some subscribers waiting you know what I mean but um, yeah that being said let's get along with the video right in today's video we're going to be doing I did say in the other video I was going to be next doing the Evo from Too Fast Too Furious but uh, there's been a change of plan in today's video I'm going to be driving the Toyota Super again but it's the one from Too Fast, Too Furious. For those of you that aren't aware, this is at the beginning of the movie. It's the, um, the beginning race. This was originally the one from the first movie, the Fast and Furious edition, but it was a nice design. It was a Paul Walker design, so I just put that on for the sake of it. I uh, may do a video on that soon. Just let me know if you, if you, like, if you want me to do a video on it. I, I can do it, no problem. Um, but yeah, this is the car here. Let's just view it first. Let's get a, get a quick, um, quick good look at it. Now this might not be 100% perfect, but it's the closest I think I could get it. Let's go back here. By far, for me, I think the most difficult part of this, um, of this build. I would have said is the but like the most difficult part to set up was the spoiler, because it was I didn't know which one to go for. Like I didn't know which one looked the closest. I'll just quickly go over it. The spoiler here, it's not yeah, it's not the exact same on the movie, but I think it's the closest one there is. Same with the back bumper, it's not the exact same on the movie, but again, I think it's the closest one I could find. Right there, I think we've got a good enough look at it, let's just go straight over to, um, we'll customise it first. I mean, it's already customised, don't get me wrong, but I'll just show you the upgrades. So, these are the tyres I got. The RP F1. Spoiler, oh rear wing if you prefer, uh, I put the first one on the street rear wing, like I say I was going to go for this one or this one but I thought well it looked a bit like this one but this one just looks, I, could, I wouldn't even say it looks a bit like it, it's the closest, it's the closest one I think because of just the way it is, like the one in the movie didn't have the metal holder like you know the, I can't describe it but the one in the movie, pretty much, it looked like this, but just a bit taller. So I thought, why not? Front bumper. Street front bumper. Well, I've just thought, anyway, hold on a minute. Oh no, it's alright. Sorry about that. The first one here, the street front bumper, this is the first one I went for. I just thought they altered the street front bumper. The rear bumper, I got the last one, the trial one. Side skirts. I got the AB flug, I think. I think that's what it says. But that's the one I went for. And the bonnet, I got this one, the GUN one. Springs and dampers. Got the um, race springs and dampers. That being done, obviously you know. I'm sure you can find the design. I think it's quite rare to be honest. But all I typed was. I was a bit lazy. I just typed two F, two F, standing for too fast, too furious. And then it came up. 
I went to this one. I went for the first one. So whoever did that, yeah, that's... I, I wouldn't really say it was a shout out to his thingy, but that's one I went for. You can go for any of these, of course, but yeah, that's one I went for. Um, we've that's it for customizing. Let's go straight to a bread shop. I'm gonna start from this end. Conversion. I left the engine swap, the drive to engine swap. Swap, sorry, it was already rear wheel drive, so there's no need to change it. The aspirational swap. You don't have to do this, but I went for the single turbo. And um, what am I doing? We've just went over aero, so tires and rims. I went for. Sport tyre compound. I went for this one, the first one. The first width. Same with the rear one. Rim style, you've seen it, I'll show it again. The RPF one. And again, I'll show you this again. I upgraded it to the max, like I made it as. I made the rims as big as I can. Drivetrain, as usual. Race clutch, race transmission, race drive line, and race diff. Went for race brakes, again everything's pretty much maxed out. Race springs and dampers. Race anti roll bars, race for both of them. I never went for a roll cage, just for the one for the sake of the movie. I could be wrong, but I'm just I'm sure that the one in the movie never had a roll cage, so I could be wrong, but yeah, so that's why I never went for a roll cage. And weight reduction, I went for weight re race weight reduction. Couldn't even get my words out there. Right, I went for the stock intake. Fuel system um, for race fuel system. You like I say, these don't have to be the same. These are just to my um, these are just my preferences. Um, for stock ignition, race exhaust, race uh, camshaft, race valves, race engine block, um, stock pistons, single turbo. I went for. I just kept it because of the other one. I uh, kept it as street turbo. And intercooler and oil and cooler. I left them both a stock flywheel. I went for a race flywheel. That is it for upgrade shopping. And finally, let's get to tuning. Why this has changed? I'm not sure. I'm sure I had it already set up, but I go for 28 and 26. I pretty much do this for all of my cars, but there's the odd few car where I make it the other way around, so I'd put it 26, 28, but. For this car, I'm just going to put it as 28 and 26. So 28 for front, 26 for rear. Gearing, uh, I'd never bothered with that. Alignment, I've already done this. This has already been done. Like this isn't like the default part. Like it's not default. I've already like changed it. But you can see what I've put it as. I put the front as a 3.0 and I put the rear as 2.0. Um, the angle, I just put it up to 6.5. Just these are my preferences, like I say, guys. Again, I put it all the way up to here about 35.52 and 31.86. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And I put the, as usual, I put the ride height to low, front and rear, all the way to low. Um, never bothered with the damping, never bothered with aero. Yeah. Um, brakes, I put it as 110%. I just think it's better as that. So yeah, I put that 110% and again as usual, the diff, or the differential, I put them both at 100%. And that is it guys, let's go on Bernie's Alps. For those of you that watch me all the time again, um, please let me know, like, I hope you're not sick of the same map pretty much all the time. I mean, the only two maps I ever drift on are this map, Bernie's Alps and Prague. But uh, yeah, like I say, they're just my two favourite maps. So, like, if you get bored just of the same maps over and over again, please let me know because I can make a change. But I think I, dr I drift best on this map and Prague. But my number one map is probably going to be this one. Sounds amazing, this car. To be honest, I, I never really paid much attention to this, um, to this, like, actual Toyota Super in the movie. Like, I paid a lot of attention to the one that Brian drove in the first one. But this one, in the second movie, I never paid much attention to. But, like, looking at it now and sounding it, I like, listen to the sound. And after, because I've already tested the car out, 
have to test a bit. Oh, now I like it. Love looking at the flames. Let's get some speed. Let me know guys what's your opinion on this vehicle. So far so good I'd say. Recently I've been uploading like every three days. I'd usually upload once a week, but yeah. I just thought why not because I've got a week off. So yeah. I thought I've got nothing important to do. So I might as well just upload a video. Or record a video should I say. I mean I got a bit of work to do but I thought now's a good time, like I'm free so. I was about to do the EVO build as well, like I was so close to doing it but I thought wait a minute, is there any, is there any of the vehicles that appear like before it, like any of the main vehicles that other people might like and I thought well wait a minute, I've done Suki's Honda S2000 I've done Brian Skyline, one of the main cars and I haven't done this one yet, like like a lot, because I heard like when I used to watch the scene, like when I watched the movie like, I watched the clip on YouTube, you know the race scene at the beginning like there was a lot of comments at the time when I was reading them like about this car and like people saying they like the skylines and the people saying they like this car the best I thought like, well why not do a build on this and like some people might just enjoy it so that's the main reason why I did it and thinking of it now I've done the skyline from the beginning which races this I've done Suki's Honda S2000 I'm doing this video now so I might as well do the Mazda that that other guy drives but you know when they're racing at the beginning, the bridge scene. The car when he doesn't drive over the bridge, that's the funny part like that. Yeah. I think this is my fourth commentary now or something. Please let me know what the quality is like still. Like, let me know if you think it's improved or whether it's the same and in, in a good way, like if, it's a, if that's a good thing or a bad thing because, like I say, if anything needs improved, I can do it.
I don't, I don't know how, but obviously I'm using the Blue Yeti. And I've just been talking, like, because I was looking at my laptop there, like, for a few seconds, like, at the beginning of the video when I was talking to see if it was working. And there was, like, the meter was going up when you talk, so that was working, but just then I looked and the mute button was flashing. It was blinking. So yeah, the, the, mute, the mute button was uh, blinking, and um, basically, yeah, so I think, I was telling you something, but I think that um, I never recorded because of, obviously, the, I think the mute was on, so I don't think yeah, not, you know what I said, but what I was saying was, um, in the last seven days, I checked my YouTube and they told me that, I don't know if it's estimated or whether it was an exact amount, but it was telling me that I've had 98 subscribers in the last seven days. 98 or 97 subscribers, I can't remember from the top of my heart, but in the last 7 days, and in the last 28 days, there were 184 subscribers, and I was saying, for those of you that, like, to some of you, that won't be, that won't be anything, because there's a lot of you there that are really, like, popular compared to me, I'm not even that popular at all, but there's a lot of you that are really popular, but to me, that is a huge amount, that is, that is fantastic for me, I think that I've got 98 or 97 subscribers in the last week, in the last 7 days, and in the last 28 days, I've had about two, nearly 200. That that is honestly that is that is amazing. So thank thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna go in first person now, guys. And again guys, please um, make sure you check that channel out, like, obviously I'm not making you do anything, definitely not, but I mean, if you'd like, please check it out because I don't think you'll regret it. And like I say, if you like this channel, I don't see why you won't like the other channel, it'll be my secondary channel, which I upload um, all my content on, that isn't racing related as I've already mentioned. Don't do this again. Oh no. That's exactly what happened in my last video, but never mind. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my final lap now. I've been recording for 20 odd minutes or so.
That was it, guys. But, um, yeah, please, please check out that channel in the description. Subscribe if you don't mind. Um, that being said, yeah, this channel, obviously, this channel, what am I about? This video, please leave a like to this video if you did like it. If you disliked it, um, yeah, that's fine. Leave it a dislike if you'd like, but please let me know, like, why or if, like, the main reason behind it and if I can improve on it and what needs improving but yeah so please really like and subscribe and more importantly um, check out the other channel more importantly cheers guys